What is going on there, Reject Nation? We have made it here to the final episode of Superman and Lois. Excited to enjoy this last rodeo with y'all. It's called Waiting for Superman. Nice. Mm. Guys, leave a like. That'd be super duper appreciated. And also, uh, full-length watch-alongs where you sync up with the time code for Superman and Lois are available for our super sexy rejects over at our Patreon page. Over there, we cover many shows where some are at the same tier for Exclusive highlights and watch alongs included. Also, thank you to the prepper Pipo, because there's more than just boys now, <laughs> who uh, help us edit down these highlights in times of infinite crises. All right, guys, let's get to it. Today, I can relate to you. Not only is the merging of the planets real, it is happening. If Ali succeeds. Oh. Each of us will be forced against our will to merge with our other selves, turning us all into, I don't know what. Better. Please, stay home. Be with your loved ones. And pray for a miracle. Thoughts and prayers. How did I, I do? Lois, leave a message. Where are you, Lois? She's waiting for Superman. <laughs> hey, it's Kush. He's still not answering. Kush. Come on, let's go look for him. Mom, wait. We said to everyone that the best way to protect ourselves is to stay at home, lock the doors, and be with the ones that you love. Which is why we're gonna go look for your father. You love dad? What? I thought you hated him for cheating on you with that woman at the bar. First Jordan, now you're keeping this from me? How do we get back to our Earth? I don't know. So in all your time as Superman, you've never experienced anything like this, like the world suddenly changing. Nothing like this. What matters is that we're all together. Yes. Family. That's from our kitchen. A lot of this stuff is. My tablet. I'm gonna try to connect with my dad. Maybe being on this world will help somehow. Did I just see David Ramsey's name? Uh-oh. Everyone just merges with their other selves until they become monsters like Ali. It'll be a whole world full of parasites. That's just it though. When I was stuck where my dad is right now, I was able to connect to a suit. It's probably just that you are. It doesn't matter, it should work. This is your fault, Jordan. <laughs> I love you both. Ah! And I never got to say goodbye. I didn't get to tell her how much I loved her. And I'm not gonna get to say that to my dad either. Ah! Oh. Dad, time. can you hear me? Dad! John Henry's still alive. Bug time. It's hard to say, my dad kept breaking up. All I can make out is that he needs my escape pod. Then we have to figure out a way to get it to him. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hey, now. <laughs> Surprised to be transported to this godforsaken place as you all were. But given the worlds have gone to pot and you, brother, are in no shape to do much about it, seems my return is necessary. Oh, no. We're back. We're back on our Earth. Where's mom? Oh, oh shit. Oh. Clark! On my way to the farm when the sky started flicker like a strobe light. <sighs> my Jeep has vanished and I'm wherever the hell this is. Clark and the boys are still on our world. We have to get back. Not quite sure how we're gonna do that. Well, we need to figure something out. I can't just abandon my family while the entire world is ending. You didn't abandon any They abandoned you. <laughs> yeah, well the problem is everyone on this world seems to want Allie to succeed. Clark said that Chrissy helped Anderson find the bizarre version of me. That's a start. Dad! Mom's somewhere in the house. She must not have blipped back when we did. This is mad. She's phasing between worlds. A multiverse of madness. <gasps> the mom is here. Oh. Is that Lois? Weird. Amanda Bassett. I'll take that as a no. Why is she talking like a dummy? <laughs> <laughs> you slow? Slowest? <laughs> slowest lady? Look, your dad said it himself. We need to figure out a way. So that's what I'm going to do. Your dad doesn't have powers. And we both know your shady uncle's not a big fan of my dad. Besides, you need to stay with your family. You're our family, too. Uh-oh. Thanks. All they care about is virtue signaling. <laughs> we are your white family. <laughs> 
Dad, just please, we're at Britton Dunn's. Just call us back. It, just tell us where you are, okay? Mr. Olaway hasn't seen him since the town hall. Maybe you want to talk to Superman? Whoa! Whoa. Be careful. Be careful. Uh, I'm not fighting for the world, Cal. I'm fighting for you. You and your family are the only people on this planet that truly matter to me. We will kill the rest, brother. Yes. <laughs> we will massacre them all. <laughs> Come on, Tal. Nice, good shot, Boogie. Whoa. Oh, terrible, terrible. God damn it, Tal. I hear him screaming. Dad, Ali's gonna kill him. Not if I help. You help Tal, and you get out of there. You understand? <laughs> Go! Ha <laughs> ha, Jordan! <laughs> we gotta get you a suit now. Laser her from above. Freeze her. Jordan. You saved my life, nephew. I'm forever in your debt. Could you guys do anything to stop Ali? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no being can defeat whatever thing she's become. Wow. You're wrong, Tal. Two minutes ago with a very different mindset. <laughs> Less than two minutes, damn. <laughs> Your cells aren't absorbing the sun's energy. Well, then I have to jumpstart them. Fly me to the sun. Take me to our sun. <laughs> yes. It worked for you? Because I was the eradicator. And even then, it took weeks of me floating around outstretched before the sun. Which is why you're throwing me into it. Wow. <laughs> Tal, I've come to trust you as a friend and a brother, and now I'm asking you to do the same. This is why I was sent here, to be Superman. It's trying to sound like mom. That's because she's the smartest person in our family. <laughs> so there's something we can do. Don't lose hope. And look after that weird lady back there. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I need. <laughs> Don't worry. It's gonna work. I know it will. Don't lose hope. Remember, they announced they picked us up for season three. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, don't lose hope. <laughs> How would you like to proceed? First, I need you to sign into my escape pod. Then use the pod to follow me into the mines. We'll fly up into the portal. Through the space in between. Yes. The space between. Our destination, for then. We find my dad. Come on, Soph. Give me your hand. It's real, like, Nolan Snyder thing about this episode. <laughs> yeah. But we can't find him anywhere. Soph, it's okay. We're going to find him. I'm sorry, Lana, but from what the news is saying, he's probably on that other world. Oh, no. Where's Bizarro Kyle? I hate to ask you this, but you being mayor and all, what do you want us to do? You guys have done everything you can. Right now, the most important thing is that you go be with your families. Unless something catches fire. <laughs> Hell is this? These people don't look like they're on board. A bunch of wackadoodles. They're waiting to merge. They think she's one. Not yet, she has. Let's go find Chrissy. Let's go punch all these people in the face. See all? No, <laughs> the other one. Feels like we just licked a toad and woke up in Candyland. DOD had this off the books program using bufotoxin. It's a psychedelic these toads secrete. <laughs> Even that, sir, now we need one. Now can you understand me? Will that work for me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you just straight up disappeared. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to. Oh, hug. Oh. This merging is a terrible idea. Boy, howdy. Boy, 
Lois! Lois, is that you? <gasps> Kyle! Where's my family, Lois? I need to find my family. Being with you, it's meant everything. And I wouldn't change a thing if it meant not being your dad. <laughs> we need to hurry. How much ice cream tonight were you able to bring just so we can blow up the portals? I didn't get that part of the message. I thought the pod was to bring you back. No, it was to bring X case so we could explode inside the portals. I'll go back. You wouldn't be able to return. I'm so sorry. No. Wow, that's kind of beautiful. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. But I have to believe it, Well, Well, you always were the impulsive one. Should this be our final farewell, I, um, well, I want you to know. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Good luck, brother. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's lucky to have you. Oh, shit. I mean, the fact that he could be out there. If we don't act now, billions of people will die. Billions of deaths. Oh. We can't let that happen. Hetty. Transfer all of our remaining energy from my suit to the pod. Mine too. This is like a Neil Blomkamp film. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving karma, Lois. Cheating on Lana. Destroying my family. This is all of that. <laughs> I caused all this. <laughs> all I want is to see you. Just once more. I deserve this. Aww. Aww. Kyle, no one ever deserves to be alone. Neither do you. Aww. Aww. Damn, Lois, you're just stuck there? Just watching the planets collide. <sighs> now this wow. is what it's like when worlds collide! Lana? Sophie? Sarah? Lana! You better kiss him. <laughs> He's earned it! Uh, <laughs> He's earned the kiss, goddammit. He's crossed universes for you. Our mom's still not here. I was just with her on the other world. She's gonna return. Talro took her dad to the he sun. He literally took him to the freaking sun, Grandpa. Then that's what he needed to do. <laughs> I've been working for the DOD for a long time. I've seen things you would not believe. Glimpses of other worlds and the leagues of superheroes they have on them. And even though we only have your father on this planet, thank God that we do. Because he's the finest of any Earth. Oh shit, they just... Hope yet. Okay. I sure as hell haven't. Your mother hasn't, and I guarantee you, neither has Superman. Ooh. So they just clearly established that this is a different world. Uh, that's how it sounds, yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shrill. It's working! Yes! It's working! Streamlined you both. Remaining here is not power. We know. Dad. Hey, don't talk. Save your ass. Ooh! Wowza. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> The real MVPs. Oh no. You have disrupted me for the last time. I'm gonna oh. bite your head off. <laughs> Go, Superman. Come on. Dad, what are we gonna do? No, Mug. I need you to close your eyes and just listen to my no, voice. Dad, you listen to me. I need you to hear this. I have always been so proud to be your daughter. <laughs> oh. You've always been my hero. I love you, Dad. I always will. And I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, Buck. <laughs> He's really accepted death. Oh, Dad! No! Oh, did you get him? 
Yeah. Oh. Oh, God damn. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's Clark. It's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> it's super. Yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> this one's so goddamn cinematic. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, wow. Super Saiyan Super Saiyan. <laughs> Holy crap. Ooh. <laughs> wow! Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh it knocked him apart. Oh. Now I'm gonna kick your ass on both worlds. Nah, he's still gonna save him. Oh. One for each of you. Oh, no way. Is he doing it? <laughs> He's doing it. Oh, shit. No way. Wind it back, my dude. God. So much. Whoa. Oh my god, that is epic. That is a gorgeous shot. That was fucking beautiful. That was such a beautiful shot. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, even Lana's applauding. Superman. <laughs> what a great book, Ann. Aww. So join me on this Miracle Monday as we express our thanks to the man of tomorrow himself, our world's hero, <laughs> Superman! Aww. I favor Smallville. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you forget it. <laughs> Sarah, go talk to Jordan. Congratulations, Mayor. I'm being exactly the kind of leader you have always wanted this town to have. It means a lot coming from you. I wish I'd been there. To vote for you, to help with the campaign, to be there when things were hard. You were busy. That's no excuse. <laughs> if you really cared. It would have been kind of rough dealing with Armageddon my first week as mayor, so let's call it even. <laughs> That's fair. Right. The world was counting on you, Lana. <laughs> After you told me everything, I just needed space. I guess a part of me thought that I could protect my girls from all this craziness, which was naive. But even if Sarah didn't know, it would be tough getting through this life without you in it. Same. Same Z's. Promise from now on, I will always be completely honest about everything. <laughs> yeah, and that scares me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But at least we'll all be in it together. Yeah. The man of tomorrow. Something I wanted to talk to you about first. <gasps> this about Clark? Yeah. Okay, well, I did check him out, and it looks like Clark's really only worked at the Daily Planet. Chrissy, no, I know, I mean it's- Oh my god! Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Clark is Superman. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband, Clark Kent, he's Superman. And you're not kidding. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm kind of overwhelmed. I know, it's a lot. I need space. <laughs> <laughs> well, then why tell me? Because you are my partner and you are my friend and I am tired of hiding the truth from you. You deserve better. Oh. This is the biggest secret anyone's ever told me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting kind of emotional. <laughs> this is a terrifying responsibility. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, do I need to swear like an oath of secrecy or something? Just not telling anybody else would be great. So yes. 
And don't piss him off. <laughs> He's got a terrible temper. <laughs> In universe, who owns the rights to Superman merch? Hey, he's back with his girlfriend. You see hey. that? Hey. Looking back, it makes so much sense. It's the biggest secret in the world, and you have to really trust somebody. But I do trust you, Sarah. I know. And I never said sorry for betraying that trust this summer at camp when I kissed Aubrey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I was crap. like... <laughs> we just kind of need to reset, be honest, talk to each other, and... See how we feel? Let's start from the beginning. I won those polls for my brother and I. That was the first time I used my powers. I didn't even know it yet. <laughs> Remember when I lasered that party? You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Tag. I kind of used my powers on the football field. <laughs> <laughs> at this time, at that time. <laughs> you okay? With you around always. Mm. Shall we? <laughs> hey, you okay? Kyle, I know that you're trying and I know that you want to fix things, but I'm not there. Oh, god damn it. Um That's pretty real. How about our last dance? Then? Oh, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> I just wish I wish everybody could be as happy as I am right now. Mm -hmm. You never stop trying to help people, do you? <laughs> that is beautiful. Show had me going. Where's that David Ramsey cave? <laughs> God damn is it. it. Is, is it, it, is it about to be incoming? <laughs> said his name at the beginning. Why would they say that? I guess I wanted to know if there was ever actually a moment when you felt complete. Just after we started to merge, where I felt you. That's not the same thing. Mm. But if that's not what you wanted, why didn't you stop? Because we couldn't survive that way. We need others. We can't be. Well, guess now you won't have to be. Where's Lucy? Yeah, that's what we need the real wrap up on. Can I help you? Yeah, do Jonathan and Jordan Kent live here? That's us. Well. These are for you. Are you serious? <laughs> no, 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 they're not. Um, I'm sorry, there, there must be a misunderstanding. Does that say who these are from? Just says Uncle Tao. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Maybe this is his way of apologizing. His very misguided and irresponsible way, Tao. Yo guys, it has a heads up display, it's holographic. Look at this. Where do you think it went anyways? Oh. Hello, we had Smallville. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks are on me. I understand that in any direction. I'm here after all the trouble your wife caused. Yes, yes, she uh, <laughs> she was a naughty one, wasn't she? Tell me, what, what's the name again? Why would they ruin that? Oh my John Henry Irons. God, he's recruiting John Henry Irons. From Argus, you brought the solar flare to kill Superman, yes. Glad that didn't work out. Yeah. Me too. Hey. You mind if I have a seat? No, people are expecting you to. The head of Intergang. Dude has his hand in pretty much all the wrong pies. What's that got to do with me? Nothing. But from what I can tell, on this planet, Bruno Mannheim is the person that killed Giant. Ah. Huh? That'll do it. Lucy! Tell me when you get there. Lucy! Woo! Lucy! 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 I just want to make sure you're okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll get her there safe and soon. Yeah. This episode like an hour and 25 minutes. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Part two airs in three weeks. <laughs> you guys have a good trip. Love you. I love you. Bye, Lucy. Yeah. Bye, guys. We love you again. <laughs> it's nice. Although when you said ocean adventure, I was imagining cabanas or drinks with teeny umbrellas or at least. We're going to Atlantis. Jordan seasick. No, I'm not. <laughs> so it's this big plan of yours anyway. You get seasick. <laughs> well. I guess. I can gotta have one week or something. Yep. Only this time, it's for all of us. What? We can all find some solitude. We're doing this as a family. And just so you know, my mom, she's been wanting to meet you. She's got some pretty cool Kryptonian technology you might be interested in. But first, gotta pump you full of XK. Oh my god, a brand new Fortress of Solitude. Think the crystal might have expired or something? 
Oh! That's only the beginning. How does it affect local sea life? How would Jonathan find it? <laughs> we'll build a truck bridge. I feel like that's easier to find than one in the mountains. Yeah, it doesn't really blend in when it's just jutting out of the ocean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, hey, what do we know, right? It's okay. It's okay. They'll put some kind of shield that scrambles the visual over it. Or SNL. Am I right? Yeah, man. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Well, here we are. Here we are, guys. We made it. Um, we are at the end of a lovely, lovely season arc. All right, sweet, sweet digs. Well, Chrissy now knows. That's my big takeaway here. That's right. Chrissy knows the truth. Chrissy can spread the news far and wide. Waiting two whole seasons for Chrissy to find out. Every episode kept wondering, when's it going to be? And here we are. We finally got it. Very happy about that. That was funny. <laughs> Uh, regardless of, uh, whatever some spots in the beginning felt a little bit too rushed, but overall, I mean, I thought it was a pretty great season finale. Felt like an actual, it, made, it suddenly made the whole season feel like a part two <laughs> of, yeah. of a Superman and Lois story. It's it like put it in this different kind of context box of season one is a part one movie and this is the man of tomorrow. Um, sequel. Yeah. That's just how it kind of registered, and I thought it was uh, pretty great. And I, I think that you know, even the the whole merging sequence, I thought was beautifully captured. It was so cinematic and and fraught, and just uh, so chaotic. And I, I thought that the the way the editing handled it with the you know the flashy visuals where things were just going in and out of opacity and just the merging, sh just shifting yeah, in and out with the strobing and negative color. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was cool. It was really, really well handled. And uh, I think that it was tense and emotional. And I think the the way they handled the going back and forth between all the different storylines, whether that be like they, there was a lot of wrapping up on, on things uh, during the chaos and then afterwards. But even something that felt a little bit more dream and space world like uh, with John Henry Irons and Natalie uh, being stranded out there uh, was just so beautiful. It was mesmerizing and it felt like a different movie, but blended in with what we were doing and it was still epic. So, yeah, I think overall a pretty awesome season two finale. And I do, had a great time. Had a great time. Good season overall. I, I don't know if I like it more than the first season. I don't care to find out if I do right now. But hey, as it stands, I think it was a pretty great season too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'm really happy with the overall season and this finale. I feel like, yeah, it's like there are a couple of moments where I was like, ah, oh, maybe just like a little bit longer on the reunion when Kyle finally gets back or something, or when John Henry and Nat finally get back just for that catharsis. But yeah, for the most part, just looking back over the season and the threads that they've used and paid off and developed over time and the way that they've allowed all these character beats and things to expand and contract in ways that feel, you know, appropriately tangential to the way life feels while also having all this, you know, big world-rending bizarro stakes and everything. Like, I, I'm constantly dazzled by what they managed to do with this show because I love it on so many levels and it fires on all the cylinders. I feel like the best, you know, superhero fiction does. And, uh, and yeah, like, what they've built on top of season one with, like, Talro and things like that and seeing how that grows and pays off and with John and Nat, how that grows and pays off further. Um, I don't know. They just have, like, such a great attention to the scope and scale of their world and how to, you know, really hone in on pertinent and very compassionate and human feeling drama but also yeah having these really cool and engrossing you know sci-fi plots and things like that like yeah i don't know necessarily i wouldn't say ali alston is as good a villain as an individual character as say talro was morgan edge was in the first season but 
what she represented and what she brought about I thought was really engaging and really enjoyable to watch and yeah like I don't envy them having to edit this down but I thought for the amount of compacting they probably had to be conscientious of they did a really really great job of making the first half of this feel really intense and really thrilling but also communicating that sense of gravitas that just comes with knowing that this is the final stand and then paying off the second half with yeah this relief and this joy and this emotional catharsis and and the things they chose to make sure to tie up yeah just thought this was really graceful and really wonderfully done and there's not there are characters where in future i'm like yeah i would like to see this character maybe treated it's like any character i I've had like they're they're yeah they're they're good at growing and building on their characters. So like any gripes I would have are things that I could absolutely see improving upon you know another season with you know a shifting focus and things like that. Um, especially like with Chrissy, I feel like this new revelation could take her in some interesting directions and things. Um, but yeah, as it stands, I thought this was terrific. It's all about Chrissy, man. All about her. All about Chrissy. <laughs> And, uh, and hey, maybe Lucy will uh, be cool next season. Aunt Lucy. I like that they pay tribute to Christopher Reeves there. Mm-hmm. They they do that in this show. <laughs> they do that quite a bit. I never, I didn't think we'd be getting the whole spinning around the world, yeah. zipping around the globe. And they made it look so cool. Like, it's often cool. memed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they made it look cooler than the first movie. And I, I, I think they were some of the coolest Superman visuals ever. You yeah. know, especially that whole, like sunned up look that he had just being infused with all of it and uh to me i mean the what makes the show really like i i did enjoy the intensity of it there's like that bit of that contagion vibe and some of that editing direction style of like a snyder nolan film mm. where with uh with the hand held and the cutting around different storyline events where you can still pay attention, but you're dealing a lot with like time displacement and then shifting around time. There were some things that I thought they could have done, definitely. Now I look back on it, like I don't know what the fuck happened to like John Evil Jonathan, and uh, I, I don't know what happened yeah, to he's kind of trailed off. This freaking this is Evil uh, Lana, Evil Lana, but then like Lois, Bizarro Lois, or not Bizarro Lois, but other world Lois gets planted over here and nothing happens. Or she's yeah. there to be like, hmm, I'm watching stuff happen. So it doesn't amount to anything. And it's they, they kind of treat the moments like they would, but they don't. Uh, it's not something I was thinking about in the moment, but you know, I look back on it. It's like, it's kind of weird they just put that there when uh, nothing really happened. This could easily be an hour and a half, and I applaud what they squeezed 43 minutes into. <laughs> well, I mean, it sounds like what they had to do is focus on the emotion more than anything else. So, yeah, and I, I, I take that. I'd have a, I, I take a few things not being um, touched on, if that means getting the emotional core down. Like with the reunion of Sarah and Jordan starting over again with Natalie and I really feel like Natalie and John Henry Irons did come to this like great place of understanding and I did like this John Henry Irons portrayal of feeling like uh, I'm ready to accept death and uh <laughs> And and you know the the whole thing with at the boat at the end with starting a new fortress of solitude together as a family, not something to keep separate. You know, it's like learning to let people in more and to trust more is is a big valuable lesson that everyone's had to inherit. And it did feel like a true celebration in Smallville. Like there was to go from like a chaotic mess to something that feels like ah oh, we're appreciative of life is is a very warm and tender feeling to leave this season off with and, and I appreciate the nuanced look too at Kyle and Lana because as much as I'm rooting for it because it's a fucking TV show uh, and like I'm like nah nah I get it in real life like, yeah it makes sense it makes a lot of sense <laughs> like, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't fault Lana whatsoever no. like change your goddamn feelings woman no no like I, I even like the line too of I believe that you know um, paraphrasing here but I believe that you view me and the kids as everything and that actually makes it worse. Uh, that's a really powerful line for to display something that feels very real and close to home for uh, you know a, a cheating father and 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 a, and a faithful relationship because you know that because of the fact that his heart's in it and he would still betray does make it hurt more. So 
I, I'd still like it. I think the portrayal of the guy who plays Kyle is great. I feel like they have fleshed his character out so much better this season. And I think uh, Lana's more interesting in the way they've wrapped that friendship up. There's so much they did here in, in one episode that could have easily just been a jumbled mess. But mm. it, it didn't. You know, they played into the mess when it was messy, and, like appropriately messy with cool visuals and a good tone. And then they wrapped it up with a nice bow of heart. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good way to put that. So, yeah, it's good. Good top, stuff. Top-notch telly. Great Ru- performances. Great writing. Ruined David Ramsey's cameo. Very <laughs> top. I don't know why they did that. It's so fucking stupid. It's so dumb. They didn't need to do that. No, you get people freaking out if you didn't do that. I was watching it. Like, so we're distracting people. <laughs> he came in the first season for, like, uh, one episode. They put him in there. I'm like, oh, he's going to be a real character. I mean, I think the door that it opened, I mean, it seems like they're leading into some type of spinoff for John Henry Irons to be in either a season three plot. But from what they said about, you know, what uh, uh, General Lane said about how there's other worlds, worlds. of leagues of these heroes Hero. coming together, it sounds like that this is a very, this is his own separate Superman and, and not connected to like the crisis on Infinite Earths and, or, or that stuff. So I, I think that's a really, because I thought like, okay, is this still the same one that's connected to the Supergirl? There's maybe a different Superman? Uh, apparently so. And I, I prefer that because then you get to look like this. <laughs> and yeah, then it can good. be its own thing and it can soar to the heights it does without having to be concerned with a bunch of other plots. Yeah. Outside of itself. Yeah. So it does get me kind of curious in the world building of what they're doing with the Argus and the, and the John Diggle of, of this world. Because he, he did establish that there's an Oliver Queen in the last season that he was a hero, but sounds like from the sounds of things that there's there's one superhero and that's Superman. Yeah, and uh, now John Henry Irons. So, yeah. hey, even kids dressing up as John and Nat. I was happy to see that they're getting their flowers. I know, I know. Yeah. Tie around to their like. I think everyone just had a great arc and they managed to flesh everything out and it all came together well in the end. And uh, I did by the end of it, you know, as much as I didn't really care for the Allie Alston character when she's like super being, I did uh, find that when Superman got to her, that is the John's favorite word, catharsis. I did find that catharsis uh, of like, yeah, fucking kill her, <laughs> do yeah. it, kill her, murder her, blow her, you know, freaking rip her head off. <laughs> I, I want her like dead. And so I, I did think they they landed that 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 feeling of like yeah get her uh, yeah um, and i mean she looks super cool and her eyes all glowed out and all the lightning and so like they, they're good at, at yeah. making the images very striking and all i would have wanted was just more you know scenes with meat on the bones for that character but yeah when it counts for the action you know and, and i like turkota you know with the two of them in the cell true I, I would watch more of that character you know if they found some kind of not the same thing but some kind of uh talro way of recontextualizing her into the future so it's not just just, oh, we vanquish a villain and we never see them again. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But good stuff overall. Really, really top notch. Sarah finally apologized. Thank Christ. I know. The second she said that, I could feel. <laughs> like, no <laughs> fucking way. I, I thought this show had no awareness your body. about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> this was so annoying. <laughs> mm-hmm. Feels like that was six months ago when that happened. That's okay. That's why they spaced them out so much that they probably were able to hear some of your complaints. And they were like, hey, we got like a year to prep this finale, yeah. so we'll address that. We release these episodes every six weeks, so <laughs> we got time. We got feedback on yeah. the, every week. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the Superman and Lois Season 2 journey. This was great. This was a lot of loved fun. It. Loved it. Loved it. Um, excellent. Excellent season. Um, got a lot to move on to for this week got a whole bunch coming up so gotta stay on track here but thank you guys and last but not least let's uh, end this with shouting out some patrons Differently Sane you put on some powerful muscle gains making those muscles swell Levitt Odell Lauren American Horse let's chart the course for a god norse Hair is braided, simply faded. Joanna St. Louis, you are sexier than Marvel's Cree. Rogue Cree, you are the sexiest of Marvel's Cree. SJ94, open the door to more in... Don't get me started on Justin Martin. There's just so many things to say about him. Rosie Beatty, Darth Yoda, 066. You, 
Uh, yeah, R R R R Rosie Bosie. Colin. Colin. Philip J. Smith Jr. Jen Smith. Jen Smith. Melanie LeBlanc. Shank Batonga. Josh Brolin. Jason Dolan. TJ Trakus. You're, you're, ba you're Bacchus. TJ hey, hey, Baca. <laughs> He said you'd you be back. Thank you guys so much for being part of our Patreon page. You've made Todd a very happy cat today. Look how happy oh, he is. Buddy. This is the face of joy. Smile for the Good camera, hell, baby. God. Okay, if you're going to win this competition, God. you're going to have to smile and use some of that charm that Daddy taught you, okay? Maybe a star, don't hey, you, Todd? You, oh, did you not put your makeup on? Star, Todd? don't you? Todd, I told you not to smear that makeup. You go God out looking it, like this. How could your you mother's going to kill like me? You live in a rat's nest. Gonna kill me, Todd. Oh, Todd. Even one job to do. Sorry, guys. Look. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna take Todd, and we're gonna enroll him in some classes. All right, this won't happen again. I promise. We love you all, and, and hey, pledge for Todd. All right, stay pledged for Todd. All right, he, he needs he needs makeup. He needs coaching. He's gonna be a star one day, but uh, you you the real stars in our eyes. Love you, Todd. Mm -hmm.